Hey, you are to, to traders. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at this very powerful forex trading concept that is definitely going to turn you into a profitable forex trader. So do smash on that like button for me, guys, as in more ways, more continuous to show up here almost each and every day for you guys. And do not forget that if you are a trader and you do not have any trading capital, you can just simply go to the Forex Funder and get yourself a funded challenge. There is currently a 50% of special that is running on each and every funded challenge that you choose to get yourself. Guys, I'll definitely leave the link in this video's description without wasting any of your time. Let us get on with it. So now, if we can just somehow closely look at what happened here, right, you can clearly see See that price did what it did move to the downward and then it did what and then it moved to the upward and now it is somehow wanting to move to the downward somehow creating a structure that looks like what that looks like a double top right there right but now one thing that I'm liking about this market structure, guys, is the way that it is being created. So you can clearly see here that we do have the first leg of our double top right there. As you guys can see that, you know, price is making some sort of like double top right there. And it is still forming the, um, uh, 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 that double top, right? So you can clearly see that we've gotten our first leg there. And then, you know, price is looking like it is wanting to now lock in the second leg of our double top right there but now i'm liking the way price moved to the upward when it was forming the second leg of our double top and why am i saying that i'm liking this way right i'm saying that because you know when price was moving to the upward it was doing what it was moving in a series of what it was doing i mean it was moving uh, uh, to the upward using a series of what higher highs higher lows right higher highs and price is somehow moving to the downward right so now how is this move to the upward going to help me when I'm when I'm trading this double top? It is going to help me because I'm going to now I'm going to now test the uh, 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 the momentum of the sellers using this bullish structure right here. Remember, guys, that I always like to say that I need to have confidence whenever I'm taking my trades. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the sellers by using what by using this bullish structure right there and how am i going to test the sell i have to test the sellers before i sell right so the sellers have to prove to me that that they have um they have to pr prove to me that you know they have that much momentum to continuously move price to the upper i mean to the down right so and one way that they can do that right isn't it guys that you know a lot of people like to trade double tops in this way right first leg second leg and maybe on the second leg they probably wait for a candlestick pattern and stuff like that but you know like i always say a candlestick pattern is not enough to confirm my entries currently i'm on my 15 minutes time frame and i'm sure that if i can just go over to my four hour time frame six hour time frame or two hour time frame or three three hour time frame i can see i, I can somehow see a bearish candlestick pattern right there but now how am i going to test the sellers how am i going to test the sellers they have to prove themselves to me remember that right so now one thing that they are going they are going to prove their strength to me is if they first give me a what is if they first give me a breakout on this trend line right there right so the sellers have to prove themselves to me i do not like to enter too early in the market because you know if i enter too early right if i use a candlestick pattern there and enter too early something like this might happen right something like this might happen price might come there and then price might do what move to the upward right so i look at all obstacles right so i that's why i'm saying to guys that i do not like to enter uh, to end right so now the first test that the sellers have to do for me is they have to do what they have to give me a break out there remember this is a double top and i haven't even uh, uh, entered right so i'm going to be patient and i'm going to wait for price to move to the downward it is okay to enter a, a, a bit late right as long as you you're going to be confident about your entries right so now i'm going to be afraid to use a candlestick pattern there because you know price might do what price might do this and then move to the uh, upward right there right so now is this all am i going to to take my entry once i get myself a breakout then let us say that i do get myself a breakout there am i going to now do what am i now going to sell and maybe put my stop loss there and then wait for price to do it and then wait for price to move to the downward no i'm definitely not going to do that why because i'm going to have another problem and that problem that i'm going to have is what if price comes on this flip zone right there right and then does what and then moves to the upward 
what if price comes to that flip zone right there and then moves to the upper so i need to make sure that each and every opposing trend line and each and every opposing zone where price might uh, might reverse once i have placed my sell the sellers have broken those zones right so i have to make sure that the sellers have, have given me a breakout web on this trend line and i have to make sure that they have given me a breakout web on this flip zone too that way the sellers would have proved themselves to me that yes we are now ready to do it we are very very strong right so now i'm going to somehow enter confidently once i see that and then i'm going to look for my entry properties somewhere in this area once they've given me a break a, a, a breakout to the downward and then i'm going to look for my heart and then i'm going to look uh, for myself maybe somewhere here guys right Let's just do that right so now i'm going to then look for my sell web somewhere there and then i'm going to somehow expect price to do what to move to the downward simple as that right nothing complicated guys so now isn't it guys that you guys know that you know the market doesn't just reverse in the middle of nowhere right the market uh, 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 doesn't just you know reverse in the middle of nowhere so now what i'm then going to do is i'm going to scalp while i'm waiting to sell right i'm going to scalp a sell position while i'm when uh, 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 i'm waiting for my initial sell uh, 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 position right so and the way that i'm going to do that is if price gives me a breakout here guys right if price is able to give me a breakout web if price is able to give me a breakout on this trend line right there right if price is able let me just do this right or let us just leave it if price is able to give me a breakout web if price is able to give me a breakout on this trend line right so it will mean now that the next zone that price is going to want to reach let us just do that there we go just let us just do that let us just remove that right so now if price gives me a breakout on this trend line right there guys right so if price gives me a breakout on the trend line right there it will now mean that the next zone that it is going to want to reach it is going to be what it is going to be that flip zone right price doesn't reverse in the middle of nowhere it has to find a resistance or a support right so now if it gives me a breakout on this trend line it will definitely want to find the nearest zone or the nearest support and stuff like that and in this case right the nearest zone it is going to be this trend line right so now that's going to mean now that once i get myself a breakout there i'm going to scalp right maybe put my stop loss right there and then maybe somehow put my take profit right there i'm going to scalp somewhere there right i'm going to scalp once i get myself a breakout i'm going to scalp because bro price is going to do what price is price is going to want to come on that flip zone right there right price doesn't just uh, uh, reversing the middle of nowhere it has to find the nearest support or the nearest uh, uh, resistance so once price gives me a breakout on the trend line right so most definitely it will want to find the nearest resistance or the nearest support which is going to be this flip zone right there and remember guys that you know basically what i'm going to be waiting for is i'm going to be waiting for price to give me a breakout a breakout on that uh on that uh, uh, flip zone right there and then i'm going to be looking for my sell properties and then i'm going to be looking for a sell and then i can somehow take whatever risk to reward ratio that i would be taking so if you if you guys can look closely this was a double top right but now i waited uh, 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 you know i never somehow uh, 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 would have entered way too early on this um double top right because if i entered here if i entered there right price would have moved to the downward i'm not sure if price is going to respect this trend line right so me entering here uh would not be a very very good idea because i would be entering too early i'd enter there and then price would uh would somehow do what reverse on the trend line or i'd enter there and then price would come on the split zone and then do what and then reverse also on the split zone so i have to make sure that price has given me a breakout trip on this trend line and also on this flip zone and then after that i can then look for my sell positions right but before that you know i'm going to scalp if i get myself a a, a, a breakout on this trend line 
right i'm going to scalp and then i'm going to take my profits away on this flip zone right there if i get myself a breakout on this trend line this trend line guys right i'm going to scalp and take a sell and then i'm going to take my profit away on this flip zone right there because it is going to be the nearest support or resistance or the nearest zone and price doesn't just reverse in the middle of nowhere so i'm going to know that it is not going to reverse here right it is not going to reverse here but it is going to want to touch that nearest flips on right there right so that's it for this vlog guys i hope you did find value if you did do smash on that like button for me see you on the next one goodbye